Recall that in December 2020, the United States SEC charged Ripple and two of its execs with selling unregistered securities in the form of XRP. While the world continues to await a final verdict from the judge, which is expected to come at any time, top legal experts have reignited discussions surrounding Ripple's initial XRP sales, which saw the company raise $1.3 billion. A few days ago, Pro-XRP lawyer John Deaton engaged former SEC attorney Mark Fagel in a debate over the charges filed by the securities regulator. Fagel noted that based on his 30 years of experience as a lawyer for and against the SEC, the regulator is correct to allege that Ripple violated Section 5 of the Securities Act via its XRP sales. He added that the SEC has a better summary judgment argument than Ripple. However, he stressed that he would not be surprised if the court rules in Ripple's favor. Reacting to the development, Attorney Deaton agreed with Fagel that most altcoins violated Section 5. However, Deaton has a problem with the way the SEC laid out its argument, which is capable of implicating secondary market transactions. The pro-XRP lawyer noted that it was due to secondary market sales that he joined the SEC versus LBRY lawsuit as amicus counsel to tech journalist Naomi Brockwell. In a follow-up tweet, Deaton shared excerpts of the Amicus Curiae brief he wrote on behalf of thousands of XRP holders. According to Deaton, the SEC contends that Ripple has engaged in the functional equivalent of a nine-year-long, ongoing, 24-7 ICO, and that each and every sale of XRP from anywhere in the world was, is, always has been, and always will be a security. Notably, such an argument implicates secondary market sales of XRP. Deaton asserts that the SEC's argument is far-fetched, traveling through space and time into the future and capturing all possible future sales. This includes XRP sales conducted in countries where the crypto asset does not constitute a security, Deaton said. The SEC is not allowed to shortcut the Howey analysis by alleging each and every sale of XRP from the beginning of time until the end of the world meets all three Howey prongs and therefore doesn't have to offer specific transactional evidence, he added. Deaton asserts that while Fagel and other SEC lawyers can credibly argue that Ripple violated Section 5 at some point, they cannot categorically state that the law backs the SEC's argument in the Ripple or protects investors. The development comes days after Australian-based lawyer Bill Morgan urged XRP holders to engage Fagel politely. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. In a tweet today, Ripple CEO Bradley Garlinghouse praised members of the XRP community for their show of love and support throughout the legal battle with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. Ripple CEO made this known following a meeting with some XRP community members at the XRP Las Vegas 2023 event. Great to meet so many folks from the XRP community at Las Vegas, the camaraderie is remarkable and an amazing feeling in person versus Twitter, said Garlinghouse. Garlinghouse also attached pictures from the XRP Las Vegas event, showing his lovely moment with supporters of the sixth largest cryptocurrency. Furthermore, Garlinghouse thanked the community for supporting Ripple's legal team in the SEC lawsuit, which he describes as the good fight. One of the community members shared a Twitter video of Brad expressing gratitude to the XRP community. For context, XRP Las Vegas is a two-day event presented by Bradley Kimes, the founder of Digital Perspective. It is worth noting that the inaugural event was held exclusively for members of the XRP community. Organizers of the XRP Las Vegas 2023 tagged the event as the XRP Army Conference of a Lifetime. They expect the event to eventually become the Bitcoin Miami for the XRP community. Some notable figures in the XRP community also attended yesterday's session, including crypto law founder attorney John Deaton. Meanwhile, it is common knowledge that XRP community members fully support Ripple in the legal battle against the Securities and Exchange Commission. Supporters of the cryptocurrency understand that a win for Ripple is also a win for XRP, which has dipped massively due to the lawsuit. Aside from pledging their support for Ripple on Twitter, XRP supporters have also played major roles in the company's defense against the SEC. As reported earlier, over 75k XRP community members filed an amicus curiae brief in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit via their legal counsel, attorney John Deaton. 
Additionally, Ripple submitted more than 3,500 affidavits from XRP community members to strengthen its defense against the SEC. Now to the big question of the day, what is the possibility of XRP reaching the $10 mark this May? Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. XRP is currently caught in a bullish position, but the ultimate value it would attain in the next bull run is contingent on the next direction it takes from this position. As highlighted by crypto analyst Egreg, depending on the route it takes, XRP could either head to $10 or skyrocket to $27 in the next two years, that is, 2025. According to charts shared by Egreg, if XRP takes the blue ascending triangle course, it could surge to $10 in the next two years. However, if the asset embarks on the white symmetrical triangle trajectory, its surge could result in a price as high as $27 by 2025. Egreg noted that the phenomenon that would confirm XRP's breakout in either direction is the asset closing above the 20-day moving average on the monthly time frame. According to him, if XRP can register multiple closes above the moving average, it would serve as confirmation of a breakout to any of the directions. Historically, each time XRP closed above the 20-day moving average monthly, it has always preceded a breakout. While either path would be considered a bullish outcome in this upcoming breakout, taking the white symmetrical triangle direction could potentially increase XRP's price target by almost three times. Notably, the XRP chart highlights some spaces within the blue ascending triangle and the white symmetrical triangle courses. Egreg emphasized that it is possible for XRP to move in directions that would fill these spaces before hitting its ultimate target. He noted that this would elongate the time needed to hit the target, but XRP could also take a shorter path and avoid these spaces. Meanwhile, XRP is up $2.53% in the past 24 hours, currently changing hands at $0.43. Cents. As previously reported, Analyst Crypto Bull recently pointed out that the asset has been trading in a range between $0.28 cents and $0.55 cents in a year. Taking either of the directions spelled out by Egreg would signal a breakout from this range. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video 